Understanding dog-friendly pubs in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and culturally unique phrase, dog-friendly pub. This phrase might seem straightforward, but it holds a lot of cultural and linguistic nuances that are worth exploring, especially if you're interested in English-speaking cultures. So, let's dive in. First, let's break down the phrase, dog-friendly pub. It consists of three words, each with its own meaning. One, dog, a domesticated carnivorous mammal, commonly kept as a pet. Two, friendly, having a kind and pleasant nature. Three, pub, short for public house, a type of establishment in many English-speaking countries, especially in the UK, where people go to drink, eat, and socialize. So, when these words combine, they create a phrase that describes a pub where dogs are welcomed and treated kindly. Understanding the phrase also requires some cultural context. In many English-speaking countries, particularly in the UK, Pubs are central to social life. They are places where people of all ages gather to relax and enjoy time with friends. In these cultures, dogs are often seen as part of the family. Therefore, a dog-friendly pub is a place where this family inclusivity extends to canine members, indicating a warm, welcoming atmosphere. When you hear someone say they're going to a dog-friendly pub, it implies a few things. One, they can bring their dog along. Two, the establishment is likely to have facilities for dogs, like water bowls and maybe even dog treats. Three, the atmosphere will be casual and relaxed, suitable for pets. In conversation, Mentioning a dog-friendly pub can also be a way to suggest a casual, inclusive gathering place. The concept of dog-friendly can be applied to many places, not just pubs. You might hear about dog-friendly cafes, dog-friendly parks, or even dog-friendly hotels. The idea remains the same. These are places where dogs are welcome and well accommodated. So there you have it. Now you know what a dog-friendly pub is and the cultural significance behind this phrase. It's a wonderful example of how language and culture are intertwined. We hope this video has been informative and enjoyable. Remember, language learning is not just about words, but also understanding the culture behind them. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.